Welcome to TradersArmy.com, defending your right to build wealth and preserve capital for generations to come. I will be your host for today, joined by my co-host, Chuck. Hey, everybody. Hope you're having an absolutely great Monday. Charlie the Magnificent is here with me as we're rolling out the Monday morning edition of the DMC. If you guys are new to the channel, do me a favor. Click that subscribe button down below so you get the alerts and the updates as they come available. Bear with my, my uh, voice a little bit today. I'm dealing with a little bit of a frog in the throat, but hopefully the frog will jump out soon. Um, it's not going to change the way we look at the markets. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So the S&P today, we're up about 13 points this morning. You know, yesterday in our live trading room, we talked about the fact that we had gapped up and that there were going to be people that did try to short that gap, right? We'd gapped up and there were going to be people that tried to short it and fill that gap. Now, we did wind up closing that gap uh, very, very tight, just touch, and then now we've traded in the direction of the original gap. So I, I think that bullish uh, sentiment will continue. I think bullish sentiment is the way to go. Last night, we looked at a couple of areas down here, potential reversals. Those levels still hold in play, one on a 15-minute chart and then one on a 60-minute chart. I'm just not sure we're going to get another chance at those. When I slide down into the smaller time period and look at the 15-minute, uh, you know, there's there's some areas here that might actually be better for reversals is kind of what we're getting. Or you may want to take a little bit of a breakout. I think today could be a very strong bullish day. Um, 28.10, there is uh, a potential prior breakout we had, but there's no real stop. No, nothing to really stop price from going up until we get way up here. Because if we think of price up here, is this blue line is kind of a ceiling. Um, when price breaks through a ceiling, there's definitely a place that it does. It continues to to do what, Charlie? Go up until it hits a new ceiling. Until it hits and a that, new ceiling. And that broken ceiling, the dotted ceiling, becomes the new floor. Oftentimes it does. So that area of resistance will often be times become new support going into the future. Uh, and so we will look for this, you know, you could take this as, as kind of a breakout if there's a little bit of basing in front of it. But in reality... I think it's better to wait for a bit of a pullback. Um, inside the NQ, we have our level in the NQ for a potential long on a pullback into this region. Uh, during On the intraday basis, if you go to the 15-minute chart, this one actually sets up a pretty nice little level right here. Now, this one wick here tells me that price came up and back down, but um, this might be worth taking a look at at some point today is this area right in here. Um, for a potential reversal, as price comes down into that, um, we'll put we'll put it in purple because purple is obviously slightly lower probability because it's on a fifteen minute chart. Um, but that could be a decent little reversal opportunity in there. Crude oil, so crude oil is coming down hard right now. Big move down in crude. Um, overall, on our four hour chart for crude, we are still very bullish, uh, and we've not you know come above anything. We had a little 15-minute level in here. Oops, let me go back to it here. Had a little 15-minute level in crude in here uh, that there was a chance that we'd get a little bit of bounce off of, but it just, the fact that we came into it with these wicks back and forth, these two lower buying power wicks, we touched them and kind of moved away. And so now we've got, we've got price that's still falling. And this is the you know, the retracement of a prior speed candle. So now um, when I look at this, go into the 60 minute chart, we're going to say, okay, well, we've, we do have another 15 minute level down here. I think it's easy for price to get down to that level. Um, I think we can make it down to there. And so just keep in mind uh, that that's the area where we could see a bit of a reversal if price does make it all the way down into that region. Uh, you could get a short as well on a little breakdown coming <laughs> coming out of that area so something to uh, to look at three so as price comes down into that area that's where we may see a little bit of a reversal um in gold so in gold we're actually basing in front of this level now this level um is off of a 15 minute chart an area that we had talked about last night in the live trade room for a potential reversal um, but we are basing in front of it so keep that area tight uh play it Play it fairly close to the vest, if you will. 
if you're a little bit more of a of an aggressive trader and you want to try a long on gold, you can try a, a breakout above that region. Um, you've got a little bit of supply up here that could slow you down, but there is a potential for the long on gold above that particular area. Next, in bonds and currency markets, bond market, we've spoken about this before, but it does, you know, we are definitely in a longer running wedge pattern here, right? This is higher, lower highs and higher lows. And that's way easier to see on a four hour chart, right? On a four hour chart, we can see that those are starting to come together. Um, now, it doesn't necessarily mean that we're going to get a huge breakout one way or the other. And it's tough to play those inside of there. So you've got to go to smaller time periods and look for potential reversals. And we may get a little reversal in the next 15 minute level. But just like the S&P, the gap did close and then trade in the direction of the original gap. Uh, in the Aussie, last night we had a little 15 minute level that we bounced off of. Uh, and that level worked out for a nice little move. It came down and hit just about our target level. Uh, so now we've got to take that level off. So if you if you took that level in the live trade room last night, phenomenal. Um, looking forward, though, we're just going to take that area, which was our supply, and turn it into potential demand. Um, I think that we, we could see that occur. And there's a little bit of basing through here where we could see a little bit of a reversal coming back out of it. Uh, in the euro, we're still waiting on our level to, to hit in the euro. And then in the Canadian dollar, we still have the level that we identified yesterday for a potential, but we've not come back to test it. Last but certainly not least, Great British Pound, Japanese Yen. Maybe well, copper. Maybe copper. Um, but the, the Japanese Yen, when I look at the Yen, is another example of a whole lot of waiting, right? We've got a, we've got a level down below this blue line for potential breakout, um, but it's not quite there yet. And then in... Uh, in uh, the Great British Pound, you know, we've got a level here that we had as a potential breakout, but nothing's happening on that level. Um, technically, if you want to give one a shot above here, if we base a little bit more in front of there, you may get a breakout to the upside on the pound. So looks like today, you know, we've, we're, we're slated for more bullish movement, but keep aware of the supply levels that are up above us uh, to pay, possibly get long on the pullbacks. And then crude oil is the one that's really moving pretty strong today, down 2% in pre-market. So Hope you guys have an amazing trading day. Feel free to send us an email, support at tradersarmy.com. And until tomorrow, I will see you soon. Later. And if you are new to the subscribers, push the subscribe button down below. That red button.